Hi everyone, this is a short screencast for Independent Colleges Dublin for CME 2 for November 2014. Now I'll draw your attention to question 4 of May 2012 and this particular issue of organisational culture and its impact, both good and bad, on the performance of a particular company. Now, I would say in relation to this area of culture that it's very, very common uh, within the E2 exam. It's examined regularly, and this is only really one aspect of it, this idea of how it impacts upon performance. You know, there are a number of different ways um, that these E2 examiner can come at this, perhaps from the perspective of what factors uh, influence the development of culture within an organization. Um, uh, for example, things like the founder, uh, the history, uh, uh, the economic climate, etc or perhaps the industry so you know a lot of room for maneuver for the examiner in this area of culture definitions are important as we will see and, and perhaps even consequences of uh, different types of uh, 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 culture okay um, so in terms of the scenario here for question four may 12 what we have is just a requirement to explain how culture impacts on performance uh, the scenario itself relates to PCC, really some very basic detail about the industry that are involved in uh, uh, investment and uh, risk. They have a strong culture and the MD is suggesting that it may well be that that needs to change in order for the company to move forward. In particular, they're looking at a merger with another company. So really what we're saying here is, you know, what are the what's the upside of having a good culture, a good strong culture, and what's the downside of having a strong culture? So in terms of the answer here, you'll see that you know, what they do in the first instances in this first paragraph is really to sort of uh, uh, define really what culture is in, in the main and, and obviously reference the fact that uh, you know, culture uh, is going to impact upon the behaviours and actions of employees and therefore it's going to have a serious impact upon their reaction to change and how they respond uh, in line with the company's future strategies and uh, indeed ways of working. So culture is clearly important. It impacts upon performance. We'll see below how it does positively and negatively. Um, they give us a little bit of definition here about, you know, what culture is. Certainly it's assumptions and, and beliefs. They even talk about this idea of glue. That's a quite a good one there. You know, the glue that binds the organization together. And then they refer to the old classic of, you know, it's uh, Handy's classic of it's the way that we do things around here. Do remember Hofstetter's definition. Uh, he talks about that culture being the collective programming of the mind that distinguishes one human group from another. No harm in getting that into an opening paragraph, and I think that opening paragraph is quite broad. Could probably use that on just about any question on culture as long as you can get everything down quickly in particular the definitions okay so really overall what we're told here is that clearly is important it impacts upon um, how companies and in, indeed employees think how they respond to change that's going to affect their future performance in an overall sense so the list approach here that they use is quite good we can use this in the exam if we need to um, they talk firstly about positive influences and then they go on uh, to talk about negative influences and what you'll find particularly in the negative influences is that uh, you know there's a certain amount of uh, uh, replication or repetition uh, or duplication even uh, in, in many of the what we see as disadvantages of a strong culture you know do remember as i've said before in classes that uh, you know given that this is to some extent a, a, an advantages and disadvantages question do remember to try and flip uh, advantages into disadvantages or vice versa that may well give you a, a, a doubling up of your mark okay so in terms of the positive influences of a strong culture key key first one here is just this idea of communication coordination and cooperation and that really senses uh, or, or deals with the idea of the company operating more effectively communication is key to uh, any relationship any business and really what we would be doing by having a strong culture is providing some sort of um, you know a, a sort of a bond that ties people together therefore they're likely to communicate better coordinate and uh, and indeed cooperate that's got to be good for the business second point is just this sense of belonging this idea of you know um, man being a social animal if we have a strong uh, culture it may well be that uh, uh, that provides provides individuals or employees with a sense of belonging. It gives them a social identity. You know, they get tight with the company. And the key point with that is that that may help the company to retain them.
Yeah. Uh, one of the big problems in business, as we know, is not only getting uh, uh, good staff, but also retaining good staff. So the idea that uh, individuals will be drawn to the company will want to stay there is certainly a good thing for performance. Um, next point is just in relation to strengthening values and beliefs and, and indeed providing a guideline for behavior or uh, principles and norms of behavior. You know, that it's going to emphasize what the company is, is about, the main sort of values and attitudes. And that's got to be good, uh, given that it may encourage people to act in accordance with that culture and in, in accordance with those outlined sort of uh, norms uh, of behavior. OK, um, linked into that, I guess, and a very, very similar point is just this idea of, you know, per, uh, perceptual differences amongst uh, uh, different groups. We've talked about, uh, you know, conflict within companies and, and one of the causes certainly is uh, different departments, perhaps sales marketing versus uh, finance department having uh, perceptual differences. They come from different backgrounds. They have different skills, etc. So it may well be that having a strong culture really minimizes the impact of these differences amongst different groups and then obviously that's going to aid um, future performance uh, for sure. Um, next point is just identity. This idea of having a unique identity, a strong culture is going to breed that and uh, again what that's going to be good is a, a basis for differentiation for that individual company and therefore uh, our old favorite leading to competitive advantage. So you know with a strong cul culture comes a, a strong identity that means that uh, the company can be seen as being different in the marketplace. That's got to help performance. Okay, next points really relate to uh, the negative side. And as I said above, a little bit of overlap here between the points I feel. Um, first one is you know, this idea of norms of behavior, yeah, the problem with that is that uh, that's all well and good, but it may well be that they don't fit with uh, uh, issues of change or the changing needs of the organization. So that's a sort of a flip of one of the advantages or the positive influences mentioned above. You know, it's great to have these guides and uh, uh, norms, but it may well be that uh, the company needs to change. It may be difficult to change if those uh, uh, ideas and norms are embedded uh, within the organization. Um, Next point again is you know really the same point really it's it's very much difficult to change you know a strong culture may be deep rooted third point I feel is again more of the same you know this idea of this rigid view uh, you know could impact upon the company's ability to grow and to to learn uh, new skills so really one two and three so far are um, you know very much the one and the same but you'll be picking up marks perhaps a mark each for um, uh, for for dealing with these and, and for including these within your answer so, so, so try and think outside the box and maybe uh, uh, detail these things in slightly different ways uh, I think shorter paragraphs in this type of answer uh, are, are better than longer ones because it may well be that uh, rather than getting a uh, two marks, you only get one for your paragraph. So try and split them up in this format as they've done. Next point is that obviously uh, with with a strong culture, it may well be that some aspects of the culture are um, are, are are inappropriate, and and uh, you know that could well be. Uh, something that you've read about perhaps in, uh, in in the broadsheets in relation to different industries and uh, as a result of that that can impact negatively on performance <clears throat> um, if we have a set of inappropriate values uh, and uh, uh, they impact upon our ability to change or they're unacceptable perhaps uh, to the, uh, the the merging company that's certainly not going to be uh, good for performance um, last point here or penultimate point is this the uh, again reference to the first three above this idea of rigidity and uh, rule bound uh, uh, type culture uh, uh, doesn't certainly lend itself to uh, flexibility and innovation so very similar point to one two and three okay um, last point um, it, something we mentioned above in relation to the merger in terms of conflict or cultural conflict between two uh, uh, companies if we have uh, two sets of strong culture albeit different it may well be that uh, the um, uh, success of the merger uh, could be called into question okay hopefully that's been helpful to you that's just a quick run through one aspect of culture as I've said um, in terms of your sort of opening gambit I certainly think uh, uh, using words like assumptions, beliefs and norms are, are important. 
having definitions definitions in there uh, handy uh, and perhaps Hofstede uh, are, are key. And then in this particular question, how they've gone from there is uh, really positive and negative um, uh, influences of a strong culture. Uh, and that's very much sort of advantages and disadvantages. So watch out for flipping uh, one or other of those points. Uh, you'll see again in the, uh, as I mentioned, in the negative side, probably three points at least uh, are, 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 are very, very similar. But, uh, you know, you'll be picking up marks if you include them. Okay. Many thanks uh, uh, and good luck in your studies.